there's been lots of talk in recent years about ACEs. What are ACEs or adverse childhood experiences? They are significant childhood traumas. And we know that trauma can result in changes in brain development, changes that may affect a child's ability to behave well, manage her emotions, self-regulate, have good social skills, and do well in school. And ACEs can result in significant lifelong health problems. While many people would say that it makes sense that there's a connection between childhood trauma and later risky behaviors, most people don't know that there's a connection between childhood trauma and adult illness like heart disease and cancer. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention view ACEs as one of the major health issues in the 21st century. Adverse childhood experiences can be thought of in two categories. First, the category of abuse and neglect, such as emotional, physical, or sexual abuse, emotional or physical neglect, and second, household dysfunction, including a mother who was treated violently, household substance abuse or mental illness, parental separation or divorce, or incarcerated household members. ACEs increase toxic stress. Living in toxic stress means a child is living in fear brain, and that can result in a child using his behavior to get his needs met rather than his voice. Those behaviors may be protective strategies like manipulation, verbal aggression or control, or freeze behavior, just checking out. Children with ACEs may also have difficulty making friends and maintaining relationships. So how do ACEs affect long-term physical health? Increased stress hormones affect the body's ability to fight infection. Also, living in fear brain means a child may be functioning for years with increased heart rate, blood pressure, and breathing and muscle tension. Now, ACEs are not the final word. Resilience factors can strengthen good outcomes for a child and weaken the impact of ACEs. We'll talk more about resilience in another video, but for now, remember, when we work to prevent ACEs, we are contributing to the future health of an entire generation of children. And when we help children heal from adverse childhood experiences, we help break the cycle of intergenerational trauma.